Hi, my name is Therese Debabetta Baskin of Debabetta.com. Today's Monday mini cure is about brush care. We all have our heinous little nasty brushes that we seem to just go season after season after season without either replacing or washing. If you've spent a lot of money on brushes, and I know I have in the past, spent a lot of money on brushes, we definitely want to make sure we get the best care out of them. So today's mini cure again is on brush care. I found this little e.l.f. product at Target yesterday and it's um, e.l.f. Studios brush shampoo. So we're going to test it out today on some of my nastiest brushes. I'm kind of embarrassed to show you but I definitely want to make sure that it works. To get started I've got a couple of things. Of course my brush shampoo that um, that's by e.l.f. Studios. Paper towel so that I can you know kind of get a little bit of the dirt off. And then here are all of my very 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 dirty brushes. I'm gonna give you a close-up look about how dirty and gross they are. Um, they're pretty bad. So I waited until um, I got it got this bad because I really wanted to make sure that it works. So yeah, I mean, look at that. How gross is that? So of course, I've got brushes from all different kinds of brands. Um, Mary Kay, Mary Kay, um, Eco Tools. I actually really like these. They're natural, um, and I believe they're made from recycled materials. Um, and I also, of course, have some Elf Cosmetics ones. I don't think you can read that, but some of these are Elf, um, and, and I like and I like Elf as well. They're pretty. They're very, very inexpensive, and um, they hold up really, really well. Um, so I'm going to try to see if I can use a little bit of their brush shampoo to make my brushes look brand new. I don't know. When I use shampoo, I think it's supposed to have a lather. I guess brush shampoo doesn't have a lather, and I'm expecting something different. Now my water is getting really, really brown here. Kind of afraid to show it to you, but I will um, just for integrity sake. Um, so these brushes are looking really good. So I've done two so far. One is my blush brush, which I can't tell you when I clean that. Um, and then the other is my foundation brush, um, and that looks really good. So both of these are really, really good so far. So just going to put those off to the side. And I'm going to show you my water um, just so you can see how brown it is. Um, I'm a pretty light-skinned girl, but, you know, definitely as makeup gets stuck onto your brushes, it gets a little dirty. So we're going to clean the rest of these up, and I'm going to show you what they look like at the end. Okay, so no matter how embarrassing this is, I'm going to show you, just for integrity's sake, this is what my water looks like. There's no more brushes down in there. This is gross. You can't even see the bottom. <laughs> um, so, definitely going to let that go down. Um, but definitely, here's my brushes. They look really, really good, so now I'm going to rinse them off. Okay, so I've got a little stream of water going, and I'm just going over them with a little bit of paper towel so that um, I can get all the excess um, makeup off. Rinsing them off so that you can get all the dirt and grime out of them. And then just going over them with a little paper towel. So after a quick cleanup, I got all of the dirt out of every single brush. I want you to see these. They look amazing. And um, I, I would use it again. I, as a matter of fact, I will use it again. Um, it was very affordable. Um, only three bucks at my local Target. So Elf's got my vote and I like their stuff. So um, here, Elf Brush Shampoo. It got all of my brushes completely cleaned. Um, they were a little, little grimy before, um, but I'm very, very excited about the way they look now. Seeing as how your brushes are kind of the workhorse um, in terms of your beauty regimen, you definitely want to take good care of them, especially when you spend a lot of money. Um, 
even when you don't want to even when you don't spend a lot of money it's always worth your while to just do a little bit of good um, it can keep you um, getting good use out of your brushes for a lot longer and extend their life. Thanks again. My name is Therese Baskin of DayBabetta.com and this has been your mini cure, again about brush care. I definitely want you to understand that I love, love, love the way my brushes turned out and I hope that you can try this at home and make sure that you get some good use out of your brushes. We spend a lot of money on our makeup. We definitely want to make sure that the workhorse of our, of our actual toolkit is all of our brushes are being taken care of so that we can extend the life of them and give and give them all the you know their just desserts for doing all that they do for us to help us look great every single day. So this has been Therese Vaskin again for DayBabetta.com and this has been your mini cure, brush care.